Hmm, no fire, no brimstone, no screams of the souls of the damned being tortured in agony. I must be in the human world. <gasps> it's you! You summoned me, didn't you? Oh, this is a dream come true. I love you so much, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, but you forgot to make the circle that protects you from me. Well, it's okay. You're in luck because I love you and would never hurt you. Hey, can I take a look at your spell book? I'd like to see what summoning spell you used. Oh, it's the old Levant Counter Lunar one. This is perfect. This is just perfect. I'll spare you the details, but basically this spell summons the demon that loves you the most. Which must be me. I knew it. I knew no one loved you more than me. Well, this only proves that no demon loves you more than me. But still, this is so validating. It's proof of how much I love you. And you even wrote it in Aramaic. Let me tell you, Latin? So overrated. You've got such good taste. That's my good darling human. But now that we're finally together, we can do things like watching movies together, or eating together. Which reminds me, do you have any food? They haven't been serving anything in hell other than pancakes ever since this one video game came out. Oh, but I can't believe I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Zulzum. Wait! Ugh, I'd recognize that annoying voice anywhere. Wait, sweetheart. Don't fall for the tricks of this demonic... demon? Real creative. My name is Asash, and I know you haven't seen me before, but I've seen you all the time. Because you're a stalker? Because I'm their guardian angel. It's my job to watch over my sweetheart human, wherever and whenever, whether they're eating breakfast or when they're sleeping. I mean, especially when they're sleeping. Have you seen how cute they look when they sleep? I have. Right? And that just motivates me even more to protect my cutie pie human. Sweetheart, don't listen to... What was your stupid little name again? Zulzum? Zulzum. Right. Zuldum. I said Zulzum. Don't listen to Zulscum here, sweetheart. <sighs> They're a demon. They're pretending to love you, but they just want to manipulate you so they can't hurt you. That's all demons care about. Just hurting humans. I mean, think of all the evil and nefarious sins this demon must have committed. Please, you're an angel. Even jaywalking's a sin to you. And I'm not that sinful. I mean, what have I even done? Let's see. Some loitering. Some littering. A little murder. See, nothing big. Just little baby shit. Besides, don't play that card with me. I know you've been up to no good, too. Half the times I can make it to the human world, I've seen you stealing my darling human's wrappers from the trash. I'm not stealing them. I'm just... recycling. I'm turning it from trash into precious mementos. I'm just helping the environment. But I wouldn't expect an ignorant demon like you to understand. Please, I'm not ignorant. I understand all sorts of things. Which reminds me, my darling human. Maybe I can teach you a few things. You know, usually when a human performs that spell you just did, it's because they want the demon to be their girlfriend. Which I can understand. I'm not opposed to that. I'd be overjoyed, actually. And you know, I happen to know a good motel nearby. Maybe we can go there and I can show you why demons are associated with lust. I mean, this angel isn't going to do anything naughty with you. I hear they still teach abstinence up in heaven. Do you really not get what I'm saying? Oh, you're so innocent. You'll be so fun to corrupt. Here, I'll go easy on you. We can start with hand-holding. Get away from them, Zul Slum! Or what, sad trash? You wanna throw hands? I doubt a goody-two-shoes angel like you even thinks about violence. How good would you be in a fight? Why don't you write me a strongly worded letter and then back off to heaven to play bingo or whatever the hell boring thing you do up there? 
I think about violence a lot, actually. Especially around you. I was slaying demons before your circle of hell even existed. But what about you? The most you've ever done is kill a few humans. Must be so dang easy to punch down and pick on a few mortals. I wasn't doing it just to punch down. I was doing it to protect my darling human. Those mortals were getting too close to them, so I removed them. Oh, nice. You're welcome. But still, sweetheart, fools I'm here is bad news for you. You don't want to hang around them. Besides, I've been with you for your entire life. Granted, it was one-sided, with you being unaware of me and me watching your every movement. I mean, even on my breaks, I still chose to watch you. But what I'm saying is, if you want a girlfriend, I'd be a much better one for you. You want a bet? Gambling is a sin, so no. Oh, my precious darling human, don't listen to Fat Sash. I'd be the better girlfriend for you. I love you much more. I'm much more... Uh... What's the word again? Starts with a D. Dumb. Dirty. Damaged. Difficult. Delusional. Devoted. Daft. Demented. Deranged. Disappointing. Doltish. I already remembered the word. Distasteful. Dysfunctional. Duplicitous. Are you done? Dyspectic. Uh... Dumb? Uh... Dysentery. Okay, now I'm done. You're such a piece of shit. How dare you! Aw, oh, did the little bad word offend the pure and proper angel? No, you stupid, ugly, ass little bitch! I'm offended you're the one thing in hell that's not hot! <gasps> I swore! I can't believe I swore! I'm so sorry, my sweetheart human. I swear... I'm usually not like this. This has never happened before. Well, there's a first time for everything. At least you're developing. Corrupting you is almost as fun as it's going to be to corrupt my darling human. This doesn't change anything. Sweetheart, Stolzum here doesn't love you like I love you. They don't care about you. Heck, they don't even care about themselves. They need a shower. They still stink like brimstone. Fortunately... I can help them with that. Hold on. I think I have some holy water here somewhere. Darling, you know I care about you way more than Rat Sash. I'd do anything for you. I'd even go back to hell for you. Please do. Honestly, with you here, it's pretty tempting to go back to hell. But I can't leave my darling human all alone here, now can I? And definitely not with an angel that probably still has a bedtime. But you know, my darling human, you can stay up late with me, if you know what I mean. Doing what? Kicking puppies? What we're gonna do doesn't concern you, sat Rash. That's between me and my darling human, because we were meant to be together. The only thing you were meant to be with is a gag and a restraining order. You don't even love them. You just stalk them from time to time as an excuse to get away from the hell... I, on the other hand, drop down from heaven just to protect them from you. Yeah, drop down on your head from the looks of it. Just back off already. They're mine. I don't see your name on them. <laughs> Look closer. You didn't. I did. I wrote the name on the back of their neck while they were asleep. Just as a sort of deterrence so that demons know they're under my protection. Like a good luck charm. It was completely selfless, I assure you. Not creepy at all. I was voted least creepy back in high school, with 110% of the vote. How could it be creepy? I hope you're not planning on using that as your legal defense. I'm not creepy, right, my sweetheart human? I just love you very much. So, so much. I love you so much, I'd even sell my soul for you. I'd buy it. Haven't you bought enough? No. You know what? This talking of buying reminds me. This demon doesn't even have a job. In fact, they've never made an honest cent in their entire life. They've never made a penny that they didn't embezzle out of an orphanage or scam out of a senior citizen. I, on the other hand, 
do have an honest job. Heaven pays me a salary. Wow, I'm sure that'll come in handy when mortal currency exchanges start accepting heaven box. It does come in handy. You know, my co-worker told me humans are really fond of food. So I bought 38 billion acres in heaven so I could grow food on it for my sweetheart human. Too bad you'd have to smuggle the food out of heaven to get it to them. I know a guy. You are getting corrupted. Absolutely demonic. I love it. Not that you can compare to me. All I need is one night with my human and they'll never think of anyone else ever again. They won't be able to get me out of their head. They'll always be thinking about me. The only time they'll be thinking of you is when they get an amber alert. My sweetheart human, please listen to me. I'm the better girlfriend for you. I love you so much. Everything about you. Your eyes, your hair, your face. Your social security number? Their what? If it was for you, I'd gladly suffer any pain. Good. Then it won't hurt too much when they reject you. My sweetheart here isn't going to reject me. I'm their guardian angel. We have a divine connection. Then why are they being so hesitant? That doesn't bode well for you, either. You do have a point. Maybe my darling human here just needs some time to get to know us better. So they can see how wonderful I am. And you are not. Please. After spending a few days with the two of us, my sweetheart human will wonder how they ever even considered a demon as trusts you as an option. So then, the three of us are going to be roommates? That's a bit of an escalation, but sure. Just until I become their girlfriend. That's my line, Satsash. Oh, you got my name right this time. Zulzum? <laughs>